Hi Aries, it's Fee. I'm going to do a very quick reading for you for um, the month of February 2018. Just an overview, I've got four cards here, as an overview of the energy that should be around for Aries. And I've drawn two cards, love cards, romantic cards. One for those of you that are already um, in a partnership, married or whatever, and those for the singles, okay? Uh, the cards I'm going to be using is the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti and the love cards I've got is the Rom Romance Angel cards, Oracle cards by Dorian Virtue. Right, let's get started guys. Um, to start off the month um, of February we have the Five of Wands and the Five of Wands as you can see looks like there's a lot of activity. A lot of activity, um, collaboration. A lot of people see this as maybe you know being like, like little skirmishes with other people. I tend to think when I look at the rest of the cards, it's more to do with um, collaboration, maybe within the workplace. I've got a feeling work is going to be high on people's um, Aries uh, minds at the beginning of February, and this is you going to be collaborating uh, with other people. Or even just maybe um, feeling that there's competition. But, if, you know, if you're maybe going out in business on your own or whatever, maybe there's a lot of competition of what it is that you want to do. Um, get it also going along with um, this. Because I feel all these energies, it's not going to be one week, two week, three. It's, it's like the month, the collaboration of the energy of the month, okay? So we also have the King of Pentacles. And Pen King of Pentacles can be... Um, an earth, an earthy person, um, which Aries is. Well, no, sorry, Aries is a fire person, but maybe this is the the stance that you, the energy that you're going to take on, Aries. You're going to take on this very earthy um, kind of knowledge for uh, February. Will you be wanting to get into a kind of money mindset, a, a business mindset? It can also mean maybe an earth sign is going to come in for you. Um, that would be like a Taurus. Uh, a Taurus, like kind of Capricorn person, could be coming into. I always think it's just the, the Taurian male, this kind of very sturdy male, um, good business person coming in for you. But as I said, this can be your own energy that you're going to take on by yourself. Um, and I think you're going to have a huge focus on your finances. Work and finance is going to be really important for for Aries for February. And I think these two going together, you are going to be looking at your uh, your finance. You're going to try and get your finances sorted out for the beginning of this year. But looking at that, um, the third card along, we do have the star. And the star would tell you that things are, are looking good for you. Whatever you've been doing, this kind of collaboration, your good, your mindset for being focused on what it is that you want, whether it be financially or um, within the workplace, is definitely going to pay off. Going to be, going to be um, something coming in for you that you that you've been waiting for. Could be this person to help with this kind of um, this work situation or finances, but whatever it is that you have been working on. Um, this is it's it's oh, it's like divinely timed, okay. What will you get in the star card here? And um, you have the ten of pentacles. So it's all it's like it, all your coins, all your wishes have all kind of came in. I feel like I'm gonna say that. I'm don't I'm not saying you're gonna have this huge. You mean you, you might get a windfall? Who knows? But it looks like whoever, whatever it is that you've been working towards, is going to start to. You're going to start to see. Uh, a kind of payback for it. The energy you've put in, all the energy you've been putting in, looks like there's going to be a, you know, a kind of financial reward. Because you're coming maybe to the end of this huge struggle that now it might start to get panned out for you. Right, Aries. For Aries that are already in a committed relationship, whether it be married, you know, cohabiting or whatever, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Hmm. So maybe you're actually looking for this, your partner to, you know, fulfil all your 
your desires and dreams it's telling you not to do that I would like to see what Dorian Virtual likes to say about her cards because I do think she puts it into a bit this is only a bit at the front of this um, <clears throat> do you know I still have this sore throat that I've had for months I just can't seem to shake it so first, where are we, where are we? Right, what does Dorian say? Let's see. If you desire more romance, first look at yourself in a caring and non-critical way, of course. The more you love who you are, the greater your capacity to feel loved by others. This means trusting yourself to take good care of you and it may entail becoming more assertive. Don't worry, you can still be very lovable while affirming your boundaries. Perhaps this means spending some time alone instead of in a relationship. During this period, you may drive into introspection to understand the pattern of your love life. Ultimately, you can take responsible responsibility for attracting and agreeing to every relationship you've had. To heal your heart, find the blessing and lessons you've gained from each one. For instance, have you become stronger, more independent or more patient as a result of your prior partnerships? If so, let everything else from the past go except for the lessons and the love. This card emphasises the importance of loving yourself first, especially as you prepare for your next relationship. Oh, good Lord. Or heal the one you're in. Okay. As you gain self-respect, you'll begin attracting more loving people into your life. This will lead to healthy friendships and romances based upon mutual respect. So I did panic a bit there because I did say this is for those that were already in a relationship. So it seems to be that you know if you are in a committed relationship, then to actually take a step back and look to see where you can maybe um, build on it if there is any big cracks in the the foundations of your relationship take a step back because it looks like it can be healed and for those that are looking for love and looking for romance we have let friends friends help you ask for and accept support from others now let's have a look for let's friends <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Right, okay, let's see. The romance angels are helping you via other people to the, the degree that you'll allow this assistance to occur. This card indicates that you need to be more willing to ask for guidance, especially within the context of your love life. For instance, discuss, discuss your feelings, hopes and dreams, then allow others to help you. Perhaps they'll offer support give advice or even know of a potential partner among their acquaintances. Hmm. This card is a signal that you're, you'd benefit from spending quality time with your friends. If you're currently in a relationship, you'll get renewed enthusiasm by having regular outings with good friends. If you're single, then spending time with these special people will get you out of the house and bring in fresh energy. Your friends may also introduce you to a wonderful romantic partner. So there you go, guys. Get out and about. Get out with your pals. Get out with your friends. Um, and you surely will meet somebody there. Well, I hope that brought in a little bit of um, inspiration for you for the month of February and see you later guys, okay? If you haven't already, subscribe, please do. See you later.